This is the ITV Evening News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. The parents of British lawyer Simone White have tonight paid a touching tribute to their daughter, who died from suspected methanol poisoning whilst on holiday in Laos. They describe the 28-year-old, who is from Kent, as beautiful, kind and loving. They said she had the most wonderful energy and spark for life and expressed their support for all the other families who suffered. A total of six foreign tourists have died after being served drinks suspected of being laced with the poison. Many more were hospitalised in the backpacker town of Van Vieng. From there, our Asia correspondent Debbie Edward sent this report. Here, passengers have described chaotic scenes at Gatwick Airport after one of its terminals was evacuated following a security scare. Thousands of travellers were affected, with many unable to check in for four hours. Police deployed its bomb disposal unit after discovering a suspicious item in luggage. From the airport, here's Neil Connery. Now, worth noting, this uh, island's director of public prosecutions... Uh, dis mm. All right, John, thank you. Next, ITV News has learned that the prime suspect in the murder of Harshita Brella boarded a flight to India the same day her body is thought to have been left in a car in East London. An international manhunt continues for Harshita's husband, Panka Jalamba, who is on the run. And her sister has told us the British police failed to protect the 24-year-old in the run-up to her murder. Here's our Midlands correspondent, Ben Chapman. There is plenty more to come on the ITV Evening News, including... Queen Camilla has pulled out of attending tonight's Royal Variety performance at the Royal Albert Hall. Buckingham Palace says she's still experiencing symptoms of a recent chest infection. Aisha Zahid is at the Albert Police have appealed for help in tracking down the mother of a baby whose remains were found in a field in Salford on Wednesday. The has been so hard for families. Um, what's the response been from councils? Two million pounds uh, with the aim of uh, increasing capacity in their SEN services. Uh, becoming a real political issue for this uh, Prime Minister. It's coming up time and time again in PM. Yes, thank you. Well, let's get an update on what is making the news tonight. Hello, time for the weather now and it's an important weekend forecast. Storm Bert is due to hit tomorrow. Becky is at a holiday illuminations in Chelmsford. Becky, I'm guessing people should be checking really if these kind of events are going to be going on. And finally tonight, two Manchester schoolgirls have told ITV News what it's like to star in one of the blockbuster movies of the year. Karis Musungoli and Harriet Ryan appear in the film version of the West End musical Wicked. They even rubbed shoulders with A-list stars Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo at the premiere earlier this week. Well, now back in the drama studio, which gave them their big break, they told Caroline Whitmore about their starring roles. Oh, what little stars. Uh, that's all for now. Paul is here with the latest after I'm a celebrity. But from me and all the Evening News team, bye-bye. Have a great weekend.